So in this video, I'm going to talk about the different types of membranes in your body. And so first, let's start off by defining what a membrane is. And so a membrane is essentially something that lines body cavities and covers the viscera, also known as the internal organs. And in this video, we're going to talk about three types of membranes. We're going to talk about the cutaneous, the mucus, and the serous. To start off with, the cutaneous membrane, also known as the skin, is the largest membrane in your body. And so that's the cutaneous membrane. Next, we're going to talk about the mucous membrane, also known as the mucosa. So the mucosa lines passageways open to the external environment. And so you can see this in your digestive tract, your respiratory tract, your urinary and reproductive tract. It's essentially anywhere that's open to the outside environment. And so mucous membranes are covered with mucus, obviously, that traps bacteria and foreign particles and essentially helps you protect your body. And it helps, it prevents the bacteria and foreign particles from invading the body. So therefore, it has a protective function. The serous membrane, also known as the serosa, is the internal membrane that covers organs and lines walls of body cavities. So the serosa membrane is the true internal membrane. In addition, it forms a smooth outer surface on some organs, and it consists of a simple squamous epithelium so remember, that's the epithelium. The simple squamous essentially was just like pancakes. And so some examples of where you'll find serosa is in the pleura, which is the membranes around the lungs, the pericardium, which surrounds your heart, as well as the peritoneum, which is a membrane that lines the cavity of your abdomen. And so to briefly summarize, the two internal membranes that we talked about were the mucosa and the serosa. And the serosa lines all of the body cavities and covers the organs. So the serosa is pretty important. And so that pretty much sums it up for your body membranes. We're not really going to discuss the synovial membrane. And so I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.